Hi, welcome to the Tizan Master Herbal Tea Education Program. I'm Suzanne Caddy. Today we're going to be looking at lemon scented teas. Well, lemon scented herbs specifically. Lemon is one of the most popular flavors for teas, both for flavoring green, black, and white teas, but also in the herbal world. If you look at herbs available, everyone first of all thinks of the lemon fruit for lemon flavor. But there are a number of herbs out there that have a very strong lemon flavor and they don't come from a lemon. So today we're looking at three. The first one is lemon verbena, also called Lipia citriodora. That's the Latin name and in this course you will be learning the Latin names of the plants and don't be afraid, it's not that hard. There's all kinds of really good tricks for knowing the Latin names, and it helps enormously. First of all, so that you know exactly what you're using, and if you're a buyer, it makes sure that you're not gonna get ripped off, because that happens a lot. Adulteration in all natural products is a huge problem out there in the world. Supply outstrips demand by a lot. So knowing the Latin names means that you know exactly what you're talking about. So our first one, lemon verbena. Our second one is lemon grass, which is Symbopogon citratus. And the third one is lemon balm, Melissa officinalis. Now, for herbs, we use less tea than we would if we were doing black, green, or white tea. For those teas, we use 2.5 grams in one of these special tea cupping devices. For herbs, we don't need that much. Herbs are much stronger. They are processed differently than tea, and we'll be getting into all of that kind of information in these classes. You really will become an expert, a tisane master, by the time you're done. So, we have our three teas here, three herbal teas, tisans, if you want to use the proper name, or some people call them infusions, because an infusion means that you are infusing a herb in hot water. We're not using boiling water. These are all leaves, so we don't need 212 degrees, 100 degrees centigrade water. We're using different temperatures, and again, that's part of what you will be learning in the herbal tea course. And somewhere we have a spoon. Here's our spoon. So, <clears throat> when we taste our teas, and I'll give you a good look at these in a minute, we're going to do a good slurp. <laughs> Delicious. This is lemon verbena. Right away, an incredible lemon aroma, very definite lemon taste, and not just lemon, but there's also quite a fruitiness. If you think of lemon peel, it has a slight bitterness. On the other hand, lemon verbena has that lemon flavor, but with a real fruitiness. Our second one, lemon grass. totally different. The lemon is not nearly as pronounced. It's there, but you have much more of a sweetness. Uh, the lemon verbena has some sweetness, but more a fruitiness. The lemon grass is a, a distinct lemonness, but not as strong as the lemon verbena, and very slightly sweet. <laughs> Quite nice but a little more delicate than you would imagine. And third, we have lemon balm. <sniffs> Different again. Like lemongrass, it's a little more subtle than the lemon verbena. And more of a green note. So if I was going to blend this with other herbs, I would want to either enhance or diminish that green herbaceous note, but still keep that beautiful lemon <sniffs> taste. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to aroma, the lemon verbena 
is the strongest by far. Melissa lemon balm is second, and the lemongrass actually has the lowest lemon scent. Now, the reason I chose these three herbs for an introductory class on what is included in the Tizan Master Program is because, first of all, this is such a popular flavor. As I said at the beginning, lemon is its just one of the top flavors. Everybody loves lemon. It's fresh. It's instantly recognizable. Um, the flavor is usually strong enough that you can cover up certain notes. Uh, you'll find a lot of green teas are mixed with lemon peel or lemon scented something, often lemongrass. And that's because green tea can have a slight bitterness, especially if it's not properly prepared. Green tea is very sensitive. If you use water that's too hot, you definitely can get bitterness. And um, <clears throat> you get something that I call an aquarium note. Um, it can be a little bit fishy, um, pond-like, as some people describe it. Um, but you put a little bit of lemon with green tea, and you suddenly have taken away that aquarium note, that fishy note that green tea can have. So even if you do use water that's too hot on your green tea, you're not going to end up with something that's too bitter to drink. Lemon verbena, you can see this. It's a beautiful plant, native to Europe. Uh, it's traditionally has a long, been used forever in European herbal teas. It's one of those plants that anyone in Europe would probably have in their garden, both for its beauty and also because you can harvest it, dry it, use it in cooking, and of course for teas. Second is the lemongrass. Now lemongrass really is a grass. It grows very tall, feet, three, four feet tall. You've often seen it in the grocery store. It's probably cut into pieces this long. Uh, a white bulb-like root and then a green stalk. And it's quite hard. If you've had any sort of Asian soups, you'll know that the pieces of lemongrass in there are definitely too tough to eat. You want to take them out. You don't want to be trying to chew them because you'll be chewing for a long time and it's, it's just not pleasant. So that tells us something about the nature of the herb. It's a grass, so it is leafy, but grasses are also, as we know, can, they can be quite tough. Um, the family Symbopogon that lemongrass comes from includes other herbs like palma rosa, which are used for preventing erosion. They have very, very deep roots. They, go, they stabilize soil. Lemongrass does the same thing. Third is the lemon balm. So again, this is a classic European herb, but it's grown all over North America, and it's a mint family. So if you put that in your garden, it is going to spread like mad. A small patch one year will be double the size the next, and so on and so on and so on. It grows by un it spreads by underground roots, and but it's easy to pull up. It's not something that's going to invade your garden, and you can move it around. Plus, it's a beautiful plant. Melissa, its name, comes from the fact that this is a plant that attracts bees. Mel, M-E-L, is the old Greek and Latin for, for honey. Um, miel, M-I-E-L, is honey in French. M-E-L is honey in Greek. So, Melissa is often grown just to attract bees in the garden and we know the bees are in trouble. But what's important about these three is that far and away the most popular herb used in tea and tisane blends is lemongrass. And why? Well, it's really the least expensive, and that's why we find it in the most blends. It's readily available. It's commercially grown all throughout Asia. It is a tropical plant. These other two, they're not tropical. They will grow in Canada, they will grow all over the US, they will grow, it'll 
pretty much grow anywhere, even if there's snow. Um, you know, if you live in the tropics, it might not be so happy, but it wouldn't die. Lemongrass, on the other hand, that is a tropical plant, uh, native to Asia. It's used all in Thai cooking, uh, some parts of China. Um, but you could not grow it in a climate where you're going to get hard frosts. You would have to grow it in a pot and bring it inside in the winter, or at least into a greenhouse. But from a flavor perspective, the lemongrass actually has a lower odor profile and a lower flavor profile than either the lemon verbena or the lemon balm. And part of that reason is because it needs to steep for much, much longer. If you think about where lemongrass is used in cooking, um, it's in things that cook for a long time. Even soups cook for a long time. So when we make tea, we're generally steeping the tea for about three minutes. Maybe four, you know, some people you might forget it or some people like it really strong, you might go all the way to five minutes. But even that isn't quite enough for lemongrass. So when I want to really get all the incredible flavor out of lemongrass, and once you do get all that flavor, it is, it's very complex, and it has all kinds of floral notes and fruity notes and sweet notes, but you need to steep it for 15, 20, 30 minutes to get all that out. So I will make a syrup, or I will make, I will put it on the stove on low and let it simmer, or just below a simmer, um, basically steeping about 90 degrees Celsius, and I will leave it for 30 minutes. And then I have all of that flavor, and I can use that liquid in all kinds of things. Just add some water to it, and you have a lemongrass tea. But from a herbal tea point of view, lemongrass, although it is the least expensive choice, it's not necessarily the best choice if you really want instant, beautiful, recognizable lemon taste. For that, I would definitely be going with the lemon verbena or the lemon balm. So, that's the kind of thing that we'll be talking about in the Tizan Master Herbal Education Program. Um, there are lots of other lemon-scented herbs as well. Um, some of them are appropriate for tea, some are not. Lemon peel itself, when it's dried, can be appropriate because once it's dried you're losing all the essential oil that's in the peel when it's fresh and some of those bitter notes will have evaporated with the essential oil. But generally speaking with herbs, if they're carefully dried and properly prepared, they're still full of the essential oils. And that is what is giving you your flavor and aroma in a three-minute steep. So there you go. That's a little taste of what we're covering in the Tizan Master Herbal Tea Education Program. For more information, you can go to my website, suzannecaddy.com, and click on uh, Courses, and you'll find all of the information. Um, the next class begins November 15th. 6.30 p.m. Classes are 1.5 hours each Tuesday evening and they run for six weeks. There's two modules and in order to complete the course you have to do both the modules. Any, if you want more information you can email me education at suzannecaddy.com and we'll put that up on the screen later. But we hope you've enjoyed that little introduction to the lemon-scented herbs. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon.